Here's the equipment we'll need for this video. Before you make the gel, you need to figure out what percentage of gel and what volume you're making. There are different sized gel tanks available to use. Make sure you zero the scales before you start weighing. Measure out the required amount of agrose powder and volume of TAE buffer and add to the conical flask. In this video, we are adding 100ml of TAE buffer to 1g of agarose powder to make our 1% gel. Cover the top of the flask with greaseproof paper and seal with an elastic band. This is to prevent evaporation when microwaving. Place in the microwave and heat on full power for 1 minute and then for 20 second intervals until dissolved. The liquid will be completely clear when ready. Set up the gel plate by sealing the ends with bungs or tape and placing a comb at one end. The gel is ready to be poured when you can comfortably hold the bottom of the flask. Slowly pour the liquid into the casting tray, taking care not to introduce any bubbles. Then wait until the gel has solidified. Place the tray into the tank with the comb at the black end. DNA will migrate to the positive anode because of the negative charge on the phosphate of the DNA. Fill the tank with TAE buffer until it covers the gel by 1cm. Gently pull the comb from the gel, lifting straight up as to not damage the wells. The size of the wells depends on the comb used. These are 25 microliter wells. Before loading your sample, ensure you have a comfortable hand position and steady hand. When loading your sample, place the tip of the pipette into a well and slowly eject your sample. The glycerol in your loading die means the sample will sink to the bottom of the well. Place the lid on the tank and connect to the power pack. The voltage depends on the type, percentage and size of gel used. The higher the voltage, the shorter the runtime. However, this can cause problems. When everything is set, press the run button. Electrolysis is taking place when bubbles are forming. The agarose gel is like a matrix. DNA gets pulled through it by an electrical current. Smaller DNA fragments can travel further and faster through the gel compared to the larger DNA fragments. When the gel is finished running, turn off the power pack and remove the wires. Carefully remove the lid from the gel tank. Lift out the casting tray with the gel and drain off any excess TAE buffer carefully. Then place on a paper towel. Your gel is now ready for imaging.